So I remember the whole thing quite vividly because I'd just been away at a conference on petrocultures, the the impact of oil and energy on our environment and what it means to trigger an energy transition in the 21st century. My youngest son started having some type of respiratory attack around 4 a.m. Okay? We were monitoring him and we couldn't decide, you know, do we take him to the children's hospital or wait for our family doctor to arrive around 7? He was so weak from lack of oxygen and he was scared. When I went outside, I took him, bundled him up, took him out into the garage, and I remember stepping into the garage and it was really cold. I think it was about minus 23, and that cold air, when it hit my lungs, I could even sort of feel them seize a little bit, and then I just heard him start to breathe harder. And I've got the heat blasted because it's so cold and I want to warm it up for him. And suddenly I realize that all this exhaust is being sucked into the car and I, I'm aware of how badly it smells and I'm thinking, oh man, this is going to make it worse for him so I have to shut off the heat. And I look into the distance and I see the refineries and there's all this air pollution from the vehicles and coming off the smokestacks from the refinery further up ahead. And I'm just acutely aware of what kind of environment we live in, both in terms of you know the harshness of the natural environment and the, the built world around us and all the oil and toxic pollution. This is a typical asthmatic wheeze. You did the right thing. The next few hours are critical. We'll have to treat aggressively. The triggers are fivefold. Infections, Allergies, colds, exercise. We'll have to treat aggressively so that he won't asthmatic. be on bronchodilation. Studies show that this is very A series effective. of series oral, oral and inhaled, inhaled steroids. steroids. Did you get that? Two weeks for the one, four days for the other, and the third as needed. So there's two medications or three medications? Three. The two steroids, one oral and one inhaled, and the bronchodilator to be administered as needed. Nine. Ten. Feeling a bit better, honey? A little bit, a little bit. Bit. Okay, all right. We're gonna go to the store now. I hope they're open and we're gonna get you some stuff to make you feel better, okay? And what I find interesting about it all is that in some ways it kind of goes back to that same old narrative about the mother, right? That somehow I'm responsible for this, that, you know, maybe I gave him too much Tylenol, you know, maybe my house was too clean, you know, now we're too sterilized, now kids are developing these sensitivities. And I'm looking around and part of me is just sort of having this out of body experience where I think it's a little bit laughable that I'm kind of being held responsible, whether it's the genetics I've passed down to him or whether it's the fact my house was too clean or I gave him medication or whatever it was. And I'm looking at this landscape with refineries and cars and everything else and thinking, I don't think that I'm the entire cause of this problem here, nor can I solve it by myself. I mean, just as we can't individually enact energy transition, we need collective action. Is this a breathing store, Mama? No, honey, there's no such thing as a breathing store. It's just the pharmacy. Are they gonna help me breathe better? Too bad they don't have a breathing store, Mama.